Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about this new feature in the Amazon Music app. If you ever notice now when you get into your vehicle and you open the Amazon Music app, it automatically go into this CarPlay mode. Now you can manually turn this mode off because there's a button at the top left that shows you how to turn it off. But if you don't like this feature to turn itself on automatically every time you get into your vehicle, I'm going to show you how to turn it off completely. So yes, this is a new feature of the Amazon Music app where it automatically go into the car mode every time you get into your vehicle and you start driving. I don't like it because it seems like it's dumbed down to certain things you can't do anymore. And they have the Amazon Voice Assistant button in the bottom right for you to search for things. But sometimes she doesn't find what I'm looking for. So therefore, I have to type it in on the keyboard. And I find that a lot, especially when I'm looking for Jamaican type music. So I would easily click the button on the top left, which takes it out of car mode. And I would say, yes, exit. And then it automatically goes back to the regular app. Now, once it goes back to the regular mode, I can do what I can do right now easily by searching for the type of music I want. I can choose genre. I can choose podcast. I can do all that stuff. The CarPlay mode is limited. You just don't have all those features available to you. Now, if you do want to get back in the car mode, then all you have to do is click the gear on top and click car mode and it will automatically go back in the mode it is. Now, like I said, you cannot access like your playlist. You can do voice command to play a certain playlist if the playlist is already created. But then again, like I said, you might stumble in some of the music that it cannot find. But if I type it on the keyboard, she can find the exact things what I'm looking for. So yes, like I said, in the CarPlay mode, you're limited to switching between different type of music that's already pre-organized. And then some of it is what you already chose from, like your list, your recent played and stuff like that. And you can also use the voice assistant to do searches and perform some other commands. So I'm going to exit out the CarPlay mode right now. And I'm going to show you how you can turn it off completely from activating every time you get into your vehicle and start to drive. So what you would do, you'll go up to the gear and then you want to go into settings. Then on this list, you're going to see a section that says car mode. Now, right here is where you're going to make the adjustment. So where it says start car mode automatically, you want to uncheck that box. I'm going to uncheck that one too, because I'm not going to use car mode. Now there's one more settings you can adjust if you want nothing to do with car mode. And that's the show car mode button. So you want to click on that settings right there. And you have three options. You can say always and when you're connected to your car and never. So I'm going to choose never and I'm going to click save. And now I don't have to worry about the car mode interrupting my music selection because it is very limited. I understand they're doing it for a safety reason, but I personally don't like it because it limits me on what I can look for when it comes to certain types of music. Now, while you're in the settings of the Amazon Music app, there's some other things you can adjust if you want to. Like you can turn off the hands-free with Amazon Voice Assistant. You can block explicit song, especially if you have kids in the car. You can adjust your auto streaming network preference. You can adjust your video streaming preference. You can adjust your streaming quality. You can adjust the equalizer. You can adjust the loudness normalization. So you can keep each song at the same loudness level so you don't have one sounding louder or lower than the other. So I'm going to go ahead and turn mine on and you can choose to turn on autoplay or not, which will play similar song of the one that you just listened to when the song ends. When it comes to downloads, you can automatically turn on downloads whenever you purchase new songs. And then you can control the download settings. So you can go standard, space saving, and you can automatically download over Wi-Fi. And you can also clear the cache of the memory so you can free up some memory of the device. You can set a sleep timer. I mean, this app has a sleep timer where it will go to sleep after a certain period of time. You can refresh your music. So if you want to refresh your music because you notice that you're not seeing what you purchase, just hit that refresh and it should update. You can enable Waze integration. So now you can listen to your music while you're using the Waze app. So those are the settings that's available inside the Amazon Music app if you never went this far. But the main thing I wanted to show you was the car mode. So if you don't like the look of this car mode, 
then you can go in there and turn it off completely to where it doesn't activate every time you get into your vehicle and your phone connect to your car stereo. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.